Hey guys, it's Raven Scry. Uh, today I'm going to connect in and give a reading. I'm going to leave it completely open uh, to whatever spirit wishes to share or show uh, in the reading today. So before we start, I have some readings left still for November. If you'd like one, a private reading, please go to the About page of the channel and contact me from the email address there. All right, so let's connect in um, Connect in with spirit now to see what they wish to bring attention to uh, today. Okay, so I'm hearing uh, tables are turning. Uh, now it brings my, my energy into a scene. Uh, this feels like it's somewhat of a political nature um, in the way that they're uh, wanting to show this, it's like I'm, I'm, I've got a scene of Biden uh, and agreements. Um, you know, I'm not going to pretend that I, I know what they're speaking to here, but, you know, we can all have ideas of what this could be in regards to uh, at this time. But there's agreements being made. It's like spirits showing me. Uh, showing me pockets of energy. Now, this is one of the pockets uh, that they're bringing my attention to, these deals, but deals of uh, corruption here in some way. There is a reference to Saudi Arabia um, that's also being shown. Now, as I connect to this scene and allow it space to breathe, uh, because as you know, it's such a delicate dance to connect uh, in this way, uh, it's like I'm becoming aware of a shaking. It feels like there is like earth shaking uh, and I am aware of buildings that are crumbling uh, all at once. There's a lot of shaking and buildings crumbling down here. Um, it takes me to scenes of disaster, mass disaster. Uh, but it's not what you think um, is what I'm hearing. And I ask Spirit, you know, well, if it's not what we think, um, you know, because I would assume this is this is coming into uh, stories of the war and whatnot. We're talking about future events um, and they're talking about system failing, system falling also within this. Catastrophic catastrophe. Uh, the words catastrophic, catastrophe, they just keep uh, saying it. There is this fall taking place. My, my energy is gravitating down. It's like they're pulling me right down uh, in this scene. Uh, there's a lot of turmoil and um, eruption, disruption uh, as they take me further and further down. They're talking about future systems crumbling, systems crumbling, they're talking about, you know, nowhere is safe. There's corruption in the space, so much corruption. Um, it's evident, is what they're saying. So you must be careful at this time. Now, I ask Spirit, you know, in regards to being careful, does that mean that we shouldn't be investing in markets or, you know, making investments? Should we be just hoarding? Nowhere is safe. Um, fi financial systems will crumble is what they're saying. And it's as if in this earthquake scene, it's like everything's being shaken at once and everything is crumbling at once. So it's like there's not really room to go or room to move anywhere uh, in this way. Uh, but in regards to timing, I ask, well, you know, can you give us a bit more information? Uh, because, you know, often I feel like this this brings up and instills fear within the community, and that's certainly not the place that I'm wanting to come from. Um, but when situations are so dire, it's like that's what spirit is bringing through, and I guess I have to just be the vessel for that. Um, so as I ask, uh, confirmation... Uh, more clarity on collapses, financial collapses. Are we talking uh, this year certain systems 
Uh, they talk of crumbling this year. Um, but later on, um, much later on, there is this corruption. They keep taking me to this, to this corruption and this collapse due to corruption in the system. They keep referring to this. So I ask, well, are all markets going to be affected? They're saying no. And it's not only about markets. Um, this warning is uh, beyond markets. It's uh, within the collective, the community. Um, and it's affecting you all. Uh, even if it, it doesn't feel as though it is, it's like they show me this image of like scenes of disaster and these lines that are moving out, energetic lines um, that are moving out and being felt by all in different ways and in different circumstances. And so this is moving out across the globe in the way that they show this. Now I ask, is there any times that they can point to specifics uh, in relation to uh, what they're speaking about here? They just keep saying corruption in the system, ghost in the machine, uh, over and over again. It's like, okay, I'm going to say, all right, can we expand this out a little bit? There's nothing more to say at this time is what they're saying. Um, just be aware, be aware of what's taking place around you, um, in your world. Um, there's much change taking place. It's not all good. You know, they go good, evil, good, evil, good, evil. They're switching good, evil. And it's not until really recently that they've started using the word evil in context to um, what's going on in systems. Um, so that's interesting uh, to note as well. Now they're bringing my attention to myths and mythology. Um, it's not all as it seems, is what they're saying. And they're showing this to be written in myths and texts. Um, so it's like things that we already know about um, coming into form, uh, patterns over time, patterns over history. Now they're bringing my energy to Leonardo da Vinci. Now there's this image of him, and I really don't know much about him, uh, but I feel as though perhaps they're referencing a period of time in history um, and somehow connecting uh, to that. Uh, and I ask Spirit to, you know, expand that out a little bit. The stories that we're, we're told, um, it's not all as it seems, is what they're saying. So they're showing me this scene of somebody downloading uh, all this information um, from other dimensions, essentially channeling information through them. Uh, and writing uh, texts in history or myths or stories. But this person is just receiving information and bringing it through. Um, and it feels in connection to uh, this time period with Leonardo. They're talking about the connection to time period to his era. Uh, and they're talking about collapses and finances then, back then, um, in some way. Uh, collapses of systems. So, look, for all of you who are knowledgeable in some of these areas, please let me know um, if you know about what era he's from and what took place um, in history because they're just they're taking me there and it's like they're mirroring or giving an example of something, of some change that takes place, uh, some large change that we're about to go through uh, on some level. Okay, I'm just going to see if there's anything more uh, that needs to be shown here. I feel as though it's been a bit strange, this reading, but um, rather than block it, I'll just allow it to come through to whoever needs to receive it. Um, they just keep taking me back to this, like, earthquake scene, this shaking, everything's shaking up. Um, and it's almost like, you know, these this scene where, you know, there's this there's corrupt... Um, agreements being made, this political element. It's almost like these scenes are, are crossing over each other but, but sh shaking up against each other like snapshots in time. 
Uh, so it's quite interesting the way that spirit is placing them uh, on top of each other uh, in some way they're paralleling or they're mirroring or perhaps happening at the same time. Okay, I'm going to leave it there. If you've got any thoughts about anything in regards to what I've been speaking about in this reading, please don't hesitate to comment below. Uh, sending you all love and blessings and I'll see you soon. Raven Scratch signing off.